Today would be a good day to thank the people who have supported you along the way. This is your achievement, but it is also the result of the support you have received from the people who have cared about you and helped you on your journey. I hope you'll take a moment today to thank your teachers and families for all they've done for you over the years. There are two people here today who have been very uniquely positioned to see how the class of 2021 has grown and learned this year, Ms. Marquez and Ms. Navarro. I'd like to invite each of them to share some reflections about the class of 2021. Ms. Marquez. You did it guys, first of all, yay. Uh, hello, family, staff, and students. First, I would like to thank you for joining us virtually and in person for such an important occasion. The individuals that you see seated here in front of you and those watching from home are extraordinary. They have faced so many changes. These students have shown so much perseverance and strength. They have learned to maneuver through a new kind of learning while dealing with so much going on in the world around them. Though they battled with issues with Wi-Fi and Zoom at times, they always showed up and showed me what great work they were capable of. We teachers and staff here have seen these students, the class of 2021, grow into thoughtful, responsible, considerate and caring leaders. We are so proud of their accomplishments over the past seven years, where they grew stronger, not only in their ability to read, write, and do math, but in analyzing the world around them, in asking questions, and in wondering why the world is the way it is. They have learned to apply everything they learned about the seven habits and become leaders, not only in their classrooms, in their homes, but in their communities as well. This is not just a day to celebrate our graduates, but also to celebrate their parents and friends and family who have worked so hard and made so many sacrifices to make sure that their children succeeded. Parents, today is a culmination of your children's successes, failures, losses, and triumphs. Today is the day we celebrate the end of your child's journey in elementary school. To my students, I am so glad to have been a part of your educational journey. I look forward to, I looked forward to seeing your foreheads, your ceilings, your virtual backgrounds and your names and black screens every day on Zoom. Just kidding. I do wanna say though, uh, even though we didn't see each other every day in person, you are still my kids. I will miss you. And you are very important to me. You will always be in my heart. I also wanna say, I wanna thank you so much for the, Ms. Marquez, you're on mute. You have made me grow into a better virtual teacher. Thank you for those of you who provided links to your classmates, who answered the questions and made everyone's educational experience richer. You are just those kinds of individuals, so helpful and ready to provide me with insight on whatever topic we were talking about. To those who took a chance to chat with me during break and after class, thank you for all the music and TV show suggestions. Trust me, I listened and watched. I will leave you with this last note. Look forward to the future. I'm making a plea to the strong, decisive, and courageous people inside of each of you to grasp every opportunity to expand your knowledge and broaden your experiences and relentlessly search for your passion. Your passion is that thing you want to dive into with your whole heart that will one day become your fulfilling career. And never ever just your job. Elementary school has provided you the foundation upon which your future education will be completed or constructed, I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep doing the right thing and speaking up for uh, when there is wrong in the world. As Muhammad Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. 
I hope you all find your voice and go make the world a better place for everyone. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to our sixth grade promotion 2021. I'm so happy and excited to see all of your faces and also knowing that a lot of you are with us on Zoom. I know that Zoom had its challenges, but it also helped us stay together. Teaching on Zoom has been an adventure and your students made it an unforgettable experience. This has truly been an extraordinary year that presented us with many challenges. This group of amazing students and their families met those challenges and the impossible became possible. We need to acknowledge that none of this would have been possible without you. I would first like to say thank you to our wonderful parents for being part of this adventure. Thank you for being patient with us as things were constantly changing and especially for welcoming us into your homes over Zoom. When we were not able to be right next to your students, you accepted that role and the challenge to help them grow. Your effort and dedication this year and the previous years has not gone unnoticed. Thank you for sharing your children and your homes with me. To my students, this has definitely been an interesting year but an unforgettable adventure. I will miss our talks about philosophy, music, anime, time travel, and everything that you feel passionate about in life. I will miss seeing your faces, hearing your voices, and reading your messages in the Zoom chat. You each brought something unique to our class, and I want you to know that each one of you is special to me. Each of you are wonderfully unique and each of you have amazing strengths and capabilities. Some of you are very clear on what your strengths are and others are still searching. Keep searching because those strengths will help you find your passion. You will always and forever be my students. It is up to you now to make the most of everything that life has to offer. Don't allow setbacks to tear you down but instead use them as opportunities to grow and learn. Life happens to all of us and it's how we respond and react to life that determines our progress. A positive and enthusiastic approach to life sets us up for success. We are all excited to see what avenues you'll choose and wish you great success and every happiness as you head into your newest adventure. Thank you, Ms. Marquez and Ms. Navarro. Now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, the presentation of promotion certificates. Before we get started, let me go over some logistics. Students, when your name is called, please stand and walk to the end of your row on the left, then come to the front and make your way to the white X where your family and friends will be able to see you from home. Standing on the X will make sure that you're in exactly the right place for them to see you. So let's do it, Ms. Marquez. Neri Acevedo. Wilson Acevedo. Melanie Bello. Jack Chen, Nicole, or Nicholas Chen, Nicole Chen, Zihao Chen, Nathaniel De La Cruz, Sarah Jin. Caitlin Dong, 
Aben Garcia. Ruby Guzman. Jaden Howe. William Hang. Kyle Huang. Hua Hong. Jin Wang. Julian Ibarra. April Jimenez. Landon Lai. Hung Lam. Ashley Lau. Hannah Lee. Shi Yu Lee. Jason Liang. Amalia Viborio. Natalie Liu. Cecily Lopez. Julie Liu. Bobby Ma. James Martinez. Jacob Mascota. Edward Medina. Eric Miranda. Andrew Moran. Hung, no. Tan, no. Ivy, win. Trisha, win. Benjamin Au. Rihanna Acebella Padillo. Fatima Peñalosa. Anthony Colorana. Laura Reyes. Lizette Sanchez, Isabel Sun, Runlin Sun, Tan, I'm sorry, and Sophia Tan, Edwin Selector Solomon, David Track Murillo. Tracy Tran, Christopher Trong, Ember Valencia, Nelly Vargas, Lindy V. Gabriel Via Sanchez. Cassandra Viagrana.
Ivy Wong. Sherry Wang. Wilbert Wang. Jesse Wu. Katie Zhu. Cora Zhou. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're very proud of you. <laughs> Students, I want to leave you with one final thought. Our school is named for Ralph Waldo Emerson, a famous writer and philosopher known for his great intelligence and wisdom, which means among other things that he's very quotable. He's one, here's one of my favorite quotes from him. To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. Students, as you head to middle school at a very unusual time in our community, in our state, in our country, and in the world as a whole, people everywhere are facing obstacles and challenges we never could have anticipated. So in these difficult times and in the future, no matter what hurdles life throws at you, I hope you'll remember that you can, you can overcome anything if you work hard, think critically, be kind to others, and just be yourself. You have the tools for success. Now it's time to just do your best. Thank you again for joining us this morning. I'd like to invite promoting students and their families to join us for a drive through promotion event in the Emerson parking lot this afternoon from 1 to 2 p.m. We'll have your promotion certificates along with a few special gifts. Congratulations again, class of 2021. Stay safe, have a fantastic summer, and good luck in all your future endeavors. Take care. Great job, guys.